Now, while it's gold for our Aussie swimmers, questions are being asked about the pool in Paris. Only one world record has been set so far this Games, and most of the best swimmers have clocked slower than expected time. So why is this pool slower than others? Hmm. I'm no expert, then, so who better to ask than the one and only Dr Carl? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Just because I'm a nuffy, why pool goes slow? <laughs> why is the pool so slow? Mm. Yeah. Well, I reckon shallow. So if you talk about people who row boats quickly, so, you know, single sh skinny boats with Easy. a one person or two or four or eight, they all tell you that when they're practising and they go into shallow water, the boat slows down. Mm -hmm. And the uh, waves come from the front of the boat, they go down, they come to the surface and they create turbulence. And this is thought to be the reason why the boats go slower. But universally, rowers know, in inverted commas, and this is only anecdotal, remember, the plural of anecdote is anecdotes, not data. They <laughs> anecdotally say that slow water, shallow water slows you down. So, Dr Carl, it's a bit choppy in the pool in Paris. Can it actually really make that much of a difference? Well, um, people who have, uh, are Olympic swimmers say that when they're swimming in water by themselves as compared to other people, even though they have the lane dividers, the water feels turbulent and it makes it just a little bit harder to go through. And we are talking about people who will win a race by a hundredth of a second, maybe it's the thickness of a fingernail. Mm. Dr Carl, I want to know, is it possible that all the talk about the slow pool has a psychological impact on the swimmers? Oh, yeah. Psychology is very important. For example, look at golf, and you might have somebody who's trained and done a putt a million times, I've exaggerated, and they've got a lousy one metre, they get the, the yips and they can't do it. The other side of the coin is back in 1968, we had a long jumper out of nowhere break the world record by 71 centimetres and that record stood for a quarter of a century and even afterwards that person couldn't do it. So you're quite right, the mental side of things is very important. Mm -hmm. Dr Carl, I see a lot of people pointing fingers at the pool but is there a chance we aren't breaking any, as many records anymore because we've just physically reached the limits of how fast human beings can swim? <laughs> <laughs> well firstly the pool is shallower and we do have the anecdote from the rowers but we are getting closer to you know, tailing out and then we'll head up with what Roy and HG want to have as the full drug on Olympics to see what people can really do. But of course, there's the genetically modified Olympics where you can genetically modify somebody to go faster or higher or spin qu more quickly. Ooh. I look forward to those Olympics. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gills. Uh, Dr. Carl, uh, we'll let you go. You have to write in that uh, enormous notebook in your breast pocket. Thank you very much. <laughs>